I would like to stress, I mean, uh, these two concepts. I mean, we are looking at territorial approaches as a possible framework for uh, uh, improving uh, food security policies, mm -hmm. food security and, of course, nutrition policies. So um, uh, this is just, I mean, the last step of a process that started basically in 2009 in, in the middle of the food soaring crisis. And we had a lot of issues of the, uh, about the impacts of uh, um, uh, price rises, uh, I mean, at the regional and subnational level. So the impact of those policies that were actually introduced at that time were very different depending on the uh, 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 specificities of uh, the uh, uh, areas at the subnational level. So we started this process, and of course, I mean, uh, we tried to uh, investigate actually uh, what were the uh, I reasons why uh, the food securities, uh, the food security policies, were, may or could not be as effective as they should have been. Because I mean, we did not have a huge impact with the food security policies. If you consider that uh, we still have almost one billion of people in the world who are suffering and uh, hunger. So, um, therefore, I believe that uh, uh, we came to, uh, I mean, the starting point of our analysis was to say that the food security itself, food security and nutrition, uh, is uh, a notion that is a multi-sector, it is a multi-actor, and it is also multi-level. And I believe that this very much reflects the conclusions also and the findings of uh, this, the uh, 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 presentations of the speakers this uh, morning. So this was the very starting point. And then we analyzed actually whether the approaches that were used were effective, as I said, and uh, we came to the, conclusions, uh, to the conclusion that uh, they were not well equipped to address uh, this complexity of this concept because they, most of the policies were, first of all, top-down. I mean, uh, the food security policies were done in, in the capitals most of the time. Sometimes uh, we said that they were participatory, but as uh, Julio put it very clear in this morning, participation doesn't mean to influence uh, the policy processes, and therefore we missed a very important point of how to really inc being inclusive in the way how these policies were shaped. The second is that uh, very much a sector-based, actually, uh, I mean, most of the food security policies are very strong in terms of the availability component of uh, this concept, but uh, much weaker when it comes to um, the access component and uh, also the nutritious food component as well as the stability. If you look at uh, these three dimensions, I mean, uh, they uh, include a very strong uh, public good component and, of course, also right component. Now, in the past, these two uh, components, public good and right-based, uh, actually, food security policies, were a bit, weaker, uh, uh, a bit weak in the way how these uh, policies were uh, conceptualized. What we did is uh, to um, see whether there were other approaches, and uh, we didn't start with territorial approaches as a possible alternative or complementary I mean, uh, uh, approaches to uh, uh, improve the food security policies. But, uh, I mean, through the evidence uh, that we could gather, and uh, particularly looking at uh, and the paradox of increasing income, average income in developing countries, but also increasing disparities. So we uh, understood that uh, there was one important point missing into that, is that policies have a different impact depending on the uh, situations and the uh, you know, specificities of uh, the geographic areas. And that's where we started thinking of uh, uh, territorial approaches and we started internal brainstorming first and then we uh, organized two international events actually also to share I mean, these ideas with uh, other, other partners. And we agreed that, uh, yes, territorial approaches can be a good and appropriate framework to address at least four important prerequisites uh, for good food security policies, the way we see it. First of all, and uh, this is what we call the four eyes model. One is institutions. We have to have strong institutions in place, right, at all levels, as I said, it's a multi-level. We have uh, to have good information, which is uh, one of the key challenges in uh, territorial approaches, we have to admit, and there is a lot of work that has to be done there. Innovation, innovation that gives a sense that actually depending on the situations, even the territorial approach have to adapt because, I mean, we can have, uh, I mean, very original approaches depending on the countries, the regions, the situations, so on and so forth. And uh, the fourth one is about inclusion. Uh, we say that if we do not have these four eyes in place, 
And these prerequisites, I mean, these, even the territorial approaches can fail. So uh, that's uh, the starting point. And uh, all uh, this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 thinking uh, was based on a number of uh, questions that we tried to analyze, which are very similar to the ones that we are addressing today. So the first one was uh, whether territorial approach was the most appropriate approach. We didn't come to the conclusion that, uh, as I see also in the literature, that uh, the rural, uh, sorry, the territorial approach is the new development paradigm. I believe that we are a bit far from there. So we still need uh, to understand whether this works. We have a very good examples that were presented today, but also we know that uh, there is, uh, there is very, uh, still a lot of gray areas that we have to investigate deeper, and I believe that this kind of forum are extremely important really to keep going with the sharing experiences and so on and so forth. So, I mean, a number of questions, but uh, uh, what is a territorial approach? And I see that we do not have yet a common understanding or a shared, actually, definition of a territorial approach. And this is, again, uh, something that uh, this forum can really help us to, you know, how to come to a common understanding of this. How can it improve effectiveness of uh, uh, food and, sec and uh, uh, security, uh, food security and nutrition? How can uh, uh, this be mainstreamed in national policies? And this is where also we, I would like to uh, uh, stress the focus on national policies. What we are looking at is not so much at the territorial approach, I mean, or development, but very much to territorialized national policies. Because this is, I believe, the challenge we are having. In many cases, we had a very good projects, programs, uh, uh, local development. We heard about coastal uh, development programs and projects. Very, very uh, good. But the problem is that how to ensure sustainability, this has to be mainstreamed in, mainstreamed in national governance systems and in national policies. And uh, we believe that uh, this is still, I mean, an area that requires uh, uh, some work because not all the regions are the, uh, at the same level there. And also the conditions in the countries may not be uh, 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 there to, to ensure that uh, this happens. And, um, and then what is the evidence in the developing countries? And uh, this I mean, the meeting also uh, uh, confirmed that uh, there is an increasing engagement of uh, developing countries also in territorial approach. And I believe that this is uh, the best indicator to say that uh, it is worth actually trying to see whether this can be a possible uh, answer to the many uh, gaps that we had in the past in terms of uh, effectiveness of uh, uh, food security and nutrition strategies and policies. So in other words, actually, based on all this thinking, what we did and some actions to give, us, uh, to give you an idea of what we are doing now as a follow-up steps. First of all, we are summarizing all these uh, findings into one concept note, actually, that uh, provides the rationale and the concepts or even some theoretical foundations on how actually territorial approach can provide some answers to uh, 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 the improving uh, uh, food and nutrition security policies. So this is the one thing. I mean, the, the, the paper is almost done. It's, uh, the, the first draft is available, and I believe that uh, very soon we'll be able to circulate uh, a first draft uh, uh, for larger public. Uh, another initiative that we started also is uh, to uh, look at how we can develop this concept into an operational framework. Because at one stage, actually, we have to see how do we implement these concepts uh, in the real world. And, uh, so, and that's where, actually, we started an initiative with OECD. And I thank very much OECD for joining us uh, in, this, uh, in this meeting and UNCDF. And uh, we have a program uh, that we will be very happy to present during the marketplace on, uh, on uh, this initiative and what we want to achieve with the initiative. But uh, in uh, another action that we took, and this is very much uh, in FAO, we adopted uh, the territorial approach as one of the frameworks for the achievement of uh, one of our new strategic objectives, strategic objective three, which is about rural poverty reduction. So we recognize in FAO that this is, uh, can be a very uh, useful approach to do that. And the final point I would like to make is also that we have a huge opportunity here to bring these ideas and to, uh, uh, to the, 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 the four, I mean, at the global debate level, we mentioned that the post-2015 discussion going on. This is very important. But I believe that this forum can also have a big, uh, you know, uh, uh, role to play in the, the uh, Expo 2015 that will take place in Milan. And uh, with, uh, discussions are going on with Expo 2015 
to possibly also organize a global event on the territorial approach and food security. Thank you very much.